Hello, my name is Alex Majegas. I'm the project manager for Christel Construction. We're currently on site doing the re-roofing project for the Cypress Cove buildings. roof you see is not the old roof. It's actually the new underlayment to the roof. That's the waterproofing membrane that you'll have installed first on top directly to the plywood. So what's happening is we'll strip the existing tile down, the existing underlayment down to the bare plywood. If the plywood is bad, we replace that plywood, then we'll put the blue membrane on on top and then cover that with a white metal sheet. A conveyor would require a little bit bigger footprint to set up and also doesn't allow us the mobility that we need when we're going to be moving day to day. Additionally, a conveyor is not a bad idea, but for a four-story building and safety, we really don't want to use that. It's less controllable for materials going up and down, and right now, safety is paramount to everybody, the roofers and both the residents here. Yes, the existing green roofs will be changed to white upon the tail end of this project. Um, during this project, we had some room created in the budget, some cost savings, which will allow for this to happen. Um, additionally, this allows for an aesthetic consistency throughout the campus, so all the buildings will have the same look to them for both the existing and the expansion project. Additionally, it does protect the asset of this campus, the buildings itself, by resetting the warranties to the 20-year waterproof warranty and 35 color warranty on the roof systems. Um, one more factor to consider is the solar reflective index, which is how much solar radiant heat is reflected back to the atmosphere. The green roofs have around the 20 to 30, the white roofs will have around an 87. This means there's less energy consumption because there'll be less heat absorption through the building itself. Yes, all roofers are tied off with safety harnesses. Um, each harness is tied to a lifeline and the lifeline is anchored to the roof. All hardscape, sidewalks, driveways, and landscaping such as the grass and shrubs and trees will be replaced and restored to the condition it was prior to us arriving. The roofing material is actually split up into two different loads. One load being the cement tile, that will go to one type of recycling center, and the balance is the plywood and the existing underlayment, which cannot be recycled, and that goes to a different disposal yard. Being a four-story building, it's just difficult for guys to be traveling up and down four stories of a ladder. That would be roughly a 40 foot plus ladder. Um, needing three points of contact to exit the ladder and enter the ladder and tie off to their harness, this does not allow them any flexibility as well as mobility to put tools on themselves and go up and down. So the stairs add a more stable platform for the guys, plus it reduces worker fatigue going up and down should they need to be going up and down through the course of the day. Yes, new gutters will be installed on the buildings. Um, come summertime, when we have completed a majority of the four-story building, we'll go in and start replacing the gutters to the new gutters. The shirt color has no meaning at all. It's just a personal preference to the guys. Some have the orange, some have the green. Uh, what we really require is that they wear a high visibility color shirt and that's really what they have for high biz right now. For COVID, we have a daily screening set up in the uh, parking lot across the way that every day um, all the workers will come through. They'll answer the standard questionnaire like all the residents have and visitors have coming in. Additionally, we have a temperature check based off face recognition. Every day, if the workers 
get through the questions correctly and have the appropriate temperature, they're given a wristband every day. The wristband varies per day the color. So that's why you'll also see the guys walking around with wristbands. No injuries, first aids, lost times, recordables have been reported to date. So far, everyone has been uh, in a safe, safe condition. So hopefully we'll continue that trend. Once this, we have removed from the staging area, we'll restore that to sod, so it will be gr a grassed area upon our exit. The red tape is actually danger tape, um, and the reason why we put that up is that there is imminent danger around. So we ask that no residents or staff cross that red tape without permission from us. And we usually will take that down at the end of the day to indicate that we're done in that area. The existing villas will be started uh, first week of May this year. Um, once a tear-off crew completes wing F on the four story, they'll move over to the villas. Yes, the wing doors are able to be egressed from. If there is an issue where we do need to close that down, we will notify people and block them off accordingly.